I've been how, in East Bumble, Florida for five years, Claude. How and you've been there how many years did you say? I'm sorry. Five years. Five years. Stay another five. Why it you know, one town is the same as another. Why why the sudden change to Miami? Just stay where you are, man. Your house will only go up in value. You're comfortable there. You know what the neighbors, you know what your favorite restaurants are. You really don't want to move, do you? Yeah, I do. I don't understand why you only been there five years. It probably went up in value, right? Imagine what it'll do the next five, 10 years. I want to live in the beach life and Miami is oh, a great the, place to do it. Oh, what, what little, you see what happens when you push them away, when you use that reverse logic and you say, you don't really want to move and everything like that. And what is that? And Justin was explaining that beautifully. What does that force them to do? Yeah. Anybody? Can explain. Yeah, open Explain. Up. And what, what was the little nugget he gave? Because an East Bumble is inland, maybe. And he said oh, he said a word, a magic word. What was I, it? I really want to be on the beach. The beach. Oh, the beach. And then you go and then you get a little romantic. We call it gut 6.0. The beach. Oh, don't you love getting up in the what do you why do you like the beach? I love to take walks by the beach and and fly my kite and go surfing. I that smell of that salt air in the in the morning. Do you like that smell, Albert? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. What what do you like best about the beach? Exactly. What do you like about it? Right. The view of the ocean oh, during a yeah. sunset or a long sunrise. romantic walk. Someone special holding hands, you know, and and all that. Oh, yes. Can you see yourself there, smelling the salt and the wind on a nice? It's a July afternoon, and that nice wind hits you on a hot summer day, and you can smell the barbecues and all that good stuff and everything. Mm. That isn't what you're looking for in the next before the end of July, is it? Of course, I am. Suppose I could help you to make that happen today that meets with your budget and your time frame and everything else you need and solves your problem about selling your existing home. What do you think you'd do if you found that solution? Then I'd definitely go for it. What? Then I'd definitely go for it. What? Okay. I'd do it. What did he, what, what's the big C word? Commitment. Isn't that amazing what you can yeah. do in just a few, in, a, in just a few questions. Sorry, mm -hmm. Justin, I, you know me, I always take over. No, I'm sorry. I, I like it because you're kind of <clears throat> stepping into what we were talking about today, which is really mostly that sales is not about pitching and presenting. It's in the gut sales system. It's about listening and asking questions, listening. But see, a lot of times we ask questions and then we don't really listen. And then we just ask the next question and we move on. And we're missing that emo emotional pay dirt, that gold, the metal detector is going boop. And then we just keep walking, you know? Yeah. Instead of stopping and making it go, boop, boop, boop. oh, there it, it is, there it, it is. It's it's so important. A, a quick story, real quick, because I know we're out of time. And you're doing a great job. How about a round of applause for this guy? This is not an easy job here. Come on, they do great. Yes. I had a I had a guy who sent me an email. I haven't heard from this guy in months, you know. And every now and then he writes me, and I wrote him back an emotional question response. And this morning he made, and this morning I checked my email because of that text that I sent him or it was an email and I made it so emotional. He became a client this morning. Nice. Good. Just asking questions and not listening. But if you can make it emotional to somebody and make it like you can remove the pain or solve the problem. Right. Oh my, Albert and I had the most remarkable conversation yesterday about redirection. And it was just, it's so much more than just reading a script or just giving those those boring conversation. Oh, thank you. I'll think about it. Call me in a couple of weeks. You don't make money doing that stuff. You do make money when you make it emotional. Albert, did you want to chime in on that conversation yeah, we, talked, we had? We talked about confidence and then the negative redirection and pattern interrupts, where to how go huge, from. How huge is that stuff? Yeah, that's awesome, man. I love it. It's changed my life and it's made me smarter. Can I just say that? Is that the bottom line? It, the guts has made, made you, you smarter. No. Okay. Made you Richard. Made you Richard too. Not <laughs> that too. That too. So smarter and richer. That's not bad. 